Okay. okay. Hi, everybody. This is Barbara Marison from drawingsuccess.com. And I have a funny lady today, Donna Bernstein. She, um, she was in one of my summits a few months ago. And I wanted her back because she's really funny and she's fun. And we really need that, especially now. So welcome, Donna. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you, Barbara. Great to be here. Well, I'm fun. I don't know if I'm funny, but <laughs> I think I'm funny. I don't know about anybody else, but um, I'm so glad to be here. And um, I am a laughter yoga teacher, and that was not my professional background. Um, I don't know if anybody goes into that as a professional background, but it is a it's a wonderful background. But um, I'm a registered dietitian and have been for 40 years. And I'm also a Hatha yoga instructor and a meditation teacher. And about four years ago, I saw an article in the New York Times about laughter yoga. I never took a class, I never heard of it, but I was intrigued. So instead of taking a class, I went online and I found this laughter yoga university and I ended up becoming a laughter yoga leader from a teacher in New York City and I start teaching classes and now I am a laughter yoga teacher. I actually went to India for a week and studied with the founder of laughter yoga, Dr. Madhra Kuntaria, um, who's a medical physician and I am just, it's my new passion. So the reason why I got into it is that um, you know, I was in the health field and, you know, I was always giving all these diets out and people would follow the diets perfectly. And in some people, I just saw it that it's not just about the food that you eat, but it's how you digest the food, how you absorb the food. And with so much stress that people were having, I knew that, you know, without finding some stress relief, their guts particularly would not uh, get better. And now we're here, you know, gut is really about our whole immune system. So I love laughter yoga, first of all, because it was founded by a medical physician and I'm a, my background is science. And as silly as we get, as fun as we get, it's really all based on scientific evidence. And we've always heard that laughter is the best medicine and now there's scientific proof. So we don't rely on humor. We don't rely on comedy. We re rely on ourselves to make ourselves happy. And to me, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yay. <laughs> <In the> hokey pokey. <laughs> but people don't know what that is. They hear yoga and some people do it and some people don't. And they're getting into all kinds of weird positions and stuff. Do you have to do any of that stuff in yoga, left yoga? Great question. So this is why I love it also. There's many, many reasons. I work with people who are children to 99, to people who have developmentally disabilities, to people who are active, to who are not. What we do is we do various laughter yoga exercises and it's called laughter yoga is we do various laughter exercises it's called laughter yoga because we do yogic breathing. So the key to laughter yoga and all the health benefits, and there's so many, first of all, it increases our mood. When we laugh, it increases our serotonin, our dopamine and oxytocin, which are connective hormone, which we certainly need at this time. Um, it's a coping mechanism. It increases endorphins, which are natural hormones that, um, or that are actual hormones that increase our physical, um, stamina, energy, also reduce pain, and it also increases our mood. Um, it also, it exercises our abdominal muscles, our diaphragm. So it has, helps to lower blood pressure. It helps to control diabetes. It helps with arthritis and really everything. So it's just, it's an amazing, I feel that laughter is magic. And Charlie Chaplin said, a day without laughter is a wasted day. And I just really believe in that. So you do not, you can be sitting, you can be standing. It's really about letting go. That's really what it's about. We were born to laugh. Laughter is not something we were taught. They did a study, which I love this study, and they said every child two to four months of age, whether they're blind, deaf, come from war and tour countries, depressed parents, this study showed that every baby two to four months of age starts laughing. 
So that tells us that we didn't learn laughter. It's within us, it's joy. And all we have to do is let it come through. And we did as babies, we did as children, but the world environment, external environment has just stifled our joy. Our yeah, I, I read something also that, that up until like two years old or something, they're, they're laughing normally. And then from like two to three or four, when life starts hitting everybody, they start to lose it. And right. the older you get, you start to lose. And some people never ever. Now you were saying that um, we don't get it from TV or things out there, but we get it from ourselves. How does that happen? Okay, so the first thing is we have to let go and we have to give ourselves permission to laugh. So I, I say to everybody, let's wipe away, and please do this with me, Barbara. We <laughs> wipe away all judgment, all ego, all negativity and we just wipe it away to so let it go all out and just kind of let it go and then we just do various silly exercises because play is really behind all laughter so one of this this is called cell phone laughter so pretend on you're on the phone and i'm calling you and maybe i'm in a bad mood and i go i pretend this person is the funniest person i ever heard <laughs> something we do always in laughter yoga very good very good yay very good very good yay and all this seems silly when we do this yay it tells our brain that we are happy because when we do this motion with our hands up in the air and go yay where is it done at parties at you know weddings at any celebration football games and so the body, what we do, we're, we're faking it till we make it. We say we fake it till we make it. So we don't laugh. People say, oh, I don't want to laugh. I'm not in the mood for laugh. I'm in a bad mood. We, I tell people we don't laugh because we're happy. We laugh to get happy. Mm, so mm. You act like a depressed person and your shoulders are humped. You can't even breathe. So if you want to be happy, you put your shoulders back. You walk like you're happy, you walk with a little step, whether you feel it or not, and then you become happy. We're actually changing patterns, changing habits, changing our neuro pathways in the brain. So they say you laugh for 30 days, you'll laugh for a lifetime. So we laugh at anything. So you get up in the morning and you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> You're washing your hands. <laughs> You're doing it anyhow. <laughs> you look in the mirror. Oh, my hair. <laughs> and it becomes very contagious. It becomes very contagious for yourself, too. People ask me all the time. They say, Donna, is that a real laughter or a fake laughter? To tell you the truth, I don't know. <laughs> It just comes through you. And then you become lighter, you become freer, you become more creative, you let positivity comes. You know, I love this, the Buddha says, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. And so we are thinking that we're happy, we're feeling happy, but our movements, movement moves emotion, motion is the lotion. So in laughter yoga, we cultivate joy, we cultivate positivity, we sing, we dance, we play, and we laugh. And those are four ways to cultivate joy. And it's just, it's, it's wonderful. It's really a lot of fun. And um, we do a little thing called the milkshake laughter. So everybody, so put your hands up like this. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> So most people now need cocktails. So I say, let's do a cocktail laughter. But this cocktail laughter I'm putting in compassion, love, health, happiness, safety, joy, shake it up.
And ready? Let's drink it up. <laughs> if that doesn't get you happy, I don't know what will. <laughs> And I think you've told me, I, and I know many people told me, a lot of people, they tell me, uh, this is how I'm going to be known in the world. They get up in the morning and they think of me and they go, very good, very good, yay, very good, very good, yay. I have one person who told me their whole family does that, whether they're happy or not, they walk around, <laughs> very good, very good, yay. I know, like, I mean, I, I will do it sometimes when I get up in the morning and I can't think of any other way than I love tapping, but I, I just wasn't in the mood for tapping. And I'm like, very, and I say it like, just kind of wrote like very good, very, but I do it three or four times. And by that time, it, the serotonin starts to come in and I start to feel better. It takes a little time, but if I force myself to do it, it, it becomes natural after a little while. Good. And, and that's a beautiful point that you made because this is, you know, some, I've been doing this a long time and it is a coping, me coping mechanism, but it's a practice. Love is a practice. And some people, I mean, I've been using it because that's how I cope. Um, but some people hardly left. They said, you know, the average child lifts two to 300 times a day, depending on what study you read. The average adult lifts five times a day. And some people never laugh. Some people, um, in particular, I met a young man, he was in his 30s. He said he hasn't left for five years. There was a tragedy mm -hmm. in his family. And so all of a sudden, you're not going to be able to just laugh. But so you practice it. And every day, as you know, when you practice something, it becomes easier. So um, one thing I did want to share with you, because I've been, people have really been loving this. This is called inner laughter. So we do a lot of external laughing, but you could also internally laugh and you actually have the same effect. So if you're imagining you're laughing, the body thinks that you're laughing and you still get all those happy hormones that health that benefits. Mm. So this is the thing. And one thing I did want to mention is you want to laugh from your belly because this is where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. Most people, when they get stressed, they laugh through their throat or they breathe through their throat. We wanna breathe and laugh through our bellies. So just put your hands on your belly and just kind of take a deep breath in and like a Santa Claus laugh. <laughs> yeah, that definitely feels better than laughing through your throat, yeah. So yeah, so when you laugh from your belly or you breathe from your belly, so that's why in laughter yoga, we emphasize long, slow, deep belly breaths. What you're doing is you're activating what's called the parasympathetic system. And the parasympathetic system helps you to relax, release, and digest. When you laugh or really breathe through your throat, which a lot of adults do, especially if you're anxious or stressed, what you're activating is your sympathetic system, which causes a fight or flight react. So here you're stressed, you're like, <gasps> or you're like anxious and you're just breathing and through here. And then the body reacts by stimulating the sympathetic system, fight or flight, because it thinks you're in danger. And then you have this whole vicious cycle. So laughter is the easiest. If you're stressed or if you need something, you're anxious, just to go in the mirror and just do a deep belly laugh, um, or you can do a deep belly breath, but you want your belly expanding and inhaling. And then this new thing that I'm teaching, which is um, a sound body resonance technique, it's it's an inner laughter technique. So, so for example, we did this before. We said, very good, very good, yay. So let's do that outside. Very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. Now, let's just imagine that same very, very good, yay. You can even imagine it with your hands going up and a smile on your face. So it could be open or closed. Were you able to do that? Yeah, you know, and that was even easier because for me, it's also like, you know, I'm demonstrating like when you think about other people that are unhappy and whatever, and it's, it's hard to get that out. But when I think of 
And I just think to myself, very good, very good, yay, and not do anything. It's right. actually easier for me. So that's a great thing to do. And it's great when you're out, you're waiting on the line somewhere, you're on hold somewhere. I was trying to get some medical, you know, how they put you on hold for forever. I'm like, very good. I was doing it to my outside, but you can also do it inside. Very good, very good, yay. And it has the same effect. Remember what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. So you're imagining you're happy and everything's very good, very good, yay. So that's one thing. The other thing is you can actually laugh internally. Now, if I said to myself, Donna laugh or Barbara laugh, you can't really laugh. But that's where that milkshake that I showed you before comes in. So put your milkshake out, your hands out like a milkshake. Ho, 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 ho. Do it one more time. Ho, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, now sit silently and do that ho, ho, ha, 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 ha in your mind. Yeah, it's, it's almost easier for me. I think I'm basically a quiet person. And like today, unless I'm completely alone and, you know, but basically I'm a quiet person and it's easier for me to be quiet, do it in my mind. So and, just, good. and, and I, I think that that's, that's great that you're doing that because, you know, to, to even just do it by myself alone, making a lot of noise. I don't do that very well, but it's good to do it quietly. You're more of an internal person. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and that's great. So you know, it's, it's a great, it's a great tool. Uh, people use it before they go into surgery, after surgery, if you're not feeling good, you know, it's hard if you're not feeling good and you're lying in bed to go very good, very good. Yay. But you can do it with inside. And I've been hearing Dr. Kataria has people who have shown better recovery. It's not a scientific study, but he's people who he's talked to have tried this technique. They're amazed how much faster they heal. So it's it's just a really it's a wonderful technique and it's like like just when you're thinking of something positive if you're feeling in a bad mood or you're scared or whatever try to think of something really nice and because it's all internal and then right. you can do that you can think of a sunset and feel better feel right and this is taking it actually a step further that's why I like it because you are actually laughing inside which is. You know, so it's giving you the positivity and all those benefits of the laughing. You know, we all heard about the smile, you know, and it's what I love, you know, I saw it on your face. And when I do this class and we do internal laughing, I see, I usually people close their eyes and I keep mine open and I start seeing people's smiles come onto their face. So it's interesting, you know, we turn that frown upside down, you know. <laughs> So um, it, it, it's just really a lot of fun. And then we dance and laugh to yoga because as Martha Graham said, um, dancing is the language of the soul. And so it's all about just letting ourselves go, giving ourselves permission to be happy. Yeah. And we deserve it. Um, and, and and I, yeah, I think it, it's like, you know, as you were saying about having a lot of tools and like, this is a great tool um, box that you can put in a toolbox and when they when they're feeling lousy or they're feeling upset say I, I want to feel better let me just do that very good very good yay in my mind and they'll start to feel better Chance. right or just put your hands on your belly and feel your belly going in and out contracting you know the Santa Claus laugh and what sound also helps us to release and let go so we do something that I like, it's called anger laughter. So if you're watching the news or something's angry, you know, we don't want to repress it and bottle it up inside because when you repress, that makes the body uncomfortable or dis-ease, which as we know, causes disease. So we want to let it go. So this is called anger laughter. So sometimes, you know, we were talking about before the computer freezing. So people start 
going into negative, you know, blah, 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 and cursing. I can't believe this happens to me. This always happens to me, blah, 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 blah. You go into this whole story. So rather than that, I tell people, stop. You're angry, show you're angry. This is called anger laughter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and Barbara, when you're really angry. <laughs> you darn computer, you. You darn computer, you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's really great. <laughs> and you can't, what it's teaching you is not to take yourself seriously. You can take our work seriously, but don't take ourselves seriously. Don't take anything personal. And it is so, it's really freeing. It's, um, it's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, it could be like when you were talking about, but earlier when we were talking about the computer is freezing, before I got you, um, I've been doing interviews for the last couple of days. And so I turn on the computer and all of a sudden they're asking me to log in. They haven't asked me to log in and I thought it would be fine. Otherwise I would have done it earlier and then I couldn't get the password right. And um, it's like, it was taking me, oh my God, it's like 10 minutes before I could actually, I got the wrong password. I had to reset it. And uh -huh. like, instead of getting crazy, I should have been laughing. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you resist persists. Right. right. We're just right. kind of letting it go. We're not saying that everything's happy, happy, joy, joy. You know, we're just, dealing with what is. And so we look within and some people say, oh, I don't need your class. You know, I listen to NPR and uh, the funny station or I get a joke a day. But I tell people that's wonderful, but we want to rely on ourselves. Yeah. We rely on our breath to help us de-stress, to laugh, to make ourselves because we take ourselves wherever we go. And, you know, Things happen, so uh, we want to have that tool. And if they're not watching something at two o'clock in the morning, or if they wake up or they're in the car or something, they can find a way to do it themselves. They don't have to rely on an outside. Exactly. Um, right. So that's great. What you're teaching people it's like uh, it's just like amazing and just so much fun and just you feel so much better after you do it and uh, and just keep on saying you know I need to feel good and I want to feel good and I said okay right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna find some some of her. Right. And we do, you know, we do a lot of positivity, um, kind of affirmations in the class as well. So there's one thing called wisdom yoga, um, where we point to ourselves and we go, I make mistakes, you make mistakes. So what? I, and then it goes, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Who cares? And then but I'm a good person. You're a good person. All right. And then I like, me, I like to take it up a notch. I'm incredible. You're incredible. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> because we need it. And then, of course, we just give ourselves self-love because that's if we don't give it to ourselves, who's going to give it to us? So, Barbara, self-love with me. <laughs> and then we throw it to each other mwah, mwah, mwah. yeah especially in these days when you're not around people and you can't give hugs and you can't give kisses exactly like, but we do virtual hugs so give me a virtual hug <laughs> <laughs> that feels great that feels so great well, this was so much fun, Donna, and, and uh, I know, like, I know you've got virtual classes going. Yes, I do, and I do have a website, um, so you can go on to www.donna, uh, www.donna slash laughter slash yoga dot org, and um, I do weekly classes, I do special groups, a lot of people um, I do birthday parties, I did a bridal shower, I do corporate events, um, team building events. It's just really, I did a mom's group. It's just really fun for everybody to bring people together. And because you're sharing an experience. Um, I've been doing a lot on Zoom, which, um, you know, is not as bonding or connecting but it, it's still people have really been enjoying it so yeah yeah well i'm sure they got a lot out of today and got some two tips of what to do as soon as they get off and like then join some of your classes 
and um, just keep on, keep on laughing. Keep on laughing. <laughs> keep on laughing, guys. That's all we can do. <laughs> That's right. That's all we can do these can days. Do. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Donna. Oh, Everybody, thank you. I know that you got as much joy and fun out of it as I did. And we'll just keep on laughing and just keep on maybe join one of Donna's classes. So that would be great. Um, thank you. Thank you. And my last you. one, my last laughter, if I can share this, this sure. is called oneness, oneness laughter. So it goes like this. Put your hands out. I belong to everyone and everyone belongs to me. So thank you, Barbara, for sharing this joy. And um, that's what you're about. And so that's what I love what you do, too. Thank you, Donna. Because we're all connected. Yeah. Huh. Bye. Everybody, just, just um, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time.